Hey guys, this is Evil M. And today I just want to make a short video about the Alliance Cup. Uh, you find it to the right of your screen if you're in Castle View or in Events. Alliance Cup, and this is how it looks after the update. You can click Alliance Cup. So basically, it's the Alliance helping out together to get points. And there's missions to do, uh, like this one. You have to buy gems for uh, 2,000 gems in purchases to get these points. And uh, you have these two personal ones, and you have the alliance ones. So uh, I am rank four, so I can do a reset of them. So if you reset, uh, press delete then they disappear and you get new ones and I do that because uh, as you can see the gold ones gives 100 points uh, purple ones gives 40 and let's see the blue ones gives 10 points so that's not worth doing so I delete those and the purple ones uh, I don't do them either and preferably I do the personal ones with the uh, higher percent for more points and those points add to your personal ones and to the alliance ones and I also want to show you that you can reset the personal ones uh, only rank 4 can reset the alliance ones but the personal ones I don't want to buy gems so I will reset it confirm and there's five minutes waiting time and there will appear a new one uh, the research one I can consider doing and uh, then the points are added and you have these milestones both for the alliance rewards and for your personal ones so uh, it's a bit dark but maybe you can see there's some super recruitment tickets there's uh, healing speed ups, there's war badges so um, yeah different rewards and you can buy of course ten dollars or so uh, sorry um, to buy advanced rewards and you get some more from it uh, seven day legion skin more war badges more tickets uh, mainly more war budgets I would think and then you get an individual ranking and alliance ranking so you haven't been doing this so much <laughs> should do more oh let's see this is a good one uh, complete hourlies so check the quests and uh, pick one you can do and try to finish it as soon as possible after you pick it because if you have it here it just holds up space it's better to choose it and do it and when you're done then it renews and there will show up another one and more chance for these gold ones which gives the most points so uh, I only do the gold ones now and I would recommend you do that too so don't forget you can reset them to get better options if uh, there's none that you feel that you can make at the moment. Maybe you're maxed on buildings and don't and can't do the building one, so um, you choose instead maybe a research one if you can. So that's like quickly the uh, Alliance Cup. Don't forget to do it, do it every day. You can do five free, then you can press uh, this uh, little icon here to get another one for free. So you can do six of them for free. And then they cost gems uh, a bit more for each time you unlock up to 10 quests you can do. So that's Alliance Cup for you. Take care, be safe. Bye bye. Hello.